And one more thing we combine with AI, for example, here, I have already gathered all the, put all the FAQ uh, the customer usually ask here. Okay, now I will use this uh, FAQ as a corpus to fit to the AI. What I can do is just here to new AI. And then it will ask me to select a bot time and just select QA. And then I select data, data sheet as a data set. So I select the AI to chatbot QA. And then I fit all the data FAQ data to the chatbot. And now it is chaining. Okay, down just a few seconds. Now the uh, chatbot is can be used now. And it will pop up for some uh, suggest, suggested question. And then you can also just type what you want to type, what is AI table. And it will show you the answer based on the uh, data set you fit to it. And also, it will also give you some, you can see here, uh, suggested question. And as we can see here, you can come to the setting to uh, make the chatbot more suitable for you. And also you can using the form collection information, it will connect to the form. You can just uh, select the inquiry form. This is what we built just now. Okay, here, as you can see, inquiry form, and then you click here. It will help to collect your data. Okay. Uh, I have already built one. And as you can see from the another one, I, uh, after you change this, you can publish it. And then when you publish it, embed, you can just copy this script tag to your UI HTML. If you use the WordPress, it's very easy to code snippy. You can just copy and paste here and just save changes. After that, it will come to your website. Boom, it's here. You click the widget here. Okay. Yeah, here is the widget. Here is a chatbot for your website. And now you can also talk, try to talk to it. What is AI table? It will also give you the answer. Uh, it's uh, 7 to, uh, 24 and 7 plus 7 hours. And also you can click the contents. It will help you to click the collect the information, uh, the list. Let's try. Uh, here it. And then we will ask you the question for email and your phone number. For example, we are just testing. Okay, what can okay, help? Uh, I I want an AI CIM and then ask me to provide a website. That's it. And after that, uh, it will also have already set automation. And then this list will also come to the Slack to give a notification to the team. It's quite great. And also uh, for the phone, we can have uh, uh, many way, many better way to use it for like this, you can just put the form on your website. This is what we did. As you can see here, the contact sales. When you click the contact sales, as you can see here, and you just, the customer just fill in all the information here, and then the team will automatically get the notification. And you can also set the uh, uh, automatic greeting email to them. Okay, so this is my uh, introduction today. That's it. Thank you very much.